This playthrough is rated T for teen. Two of our party members are daddy's girls, but I'll give you one guess to figure out which it is. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Von are back here with another episode of Ogre Battle 64. In the last episode, we went to Barfeth and fought the Gorgon there. And I forgot to mention, I said there was no unique dialogue there. There actually is with her, but you have to have Paul in your group. And unfortunately, I don't have Paul. So, and I haven't done a, um, I haven't done a playthrough where I've done like uh, the chaos route or alternate route where I had like characters like Karth and Paul in my troops. I don't have a ready to go for to insert it. But yeah, Paul gets unique dialogue with the Gorgon. But anyway, now our destination heads us to the far north to the tundra of Argent where a certain individual lives. But before we do that, let's head back to Barfeth and see what people have to say about this place now that the Gorgon is gone. I can't believe you're allowed to walk around freely. Where are the knights and their prissy noblemen? Unless they reinforce order, vermin like you will be running roughshod over all of us. Well, time for the pigs to play, noble la lady. You killed it? Oh, what kind of spell did you use? Ah, I see. A stronger foe can be beaten with a stronger mind, eh? Nah, I just had a reflective surface. Percy has taught me that one. Some spells don't draw power from spirits or the gods. They're nothing like the spells that we know. I want them. Alright, lady, calm down, calm down. I'll get you those spells. Have you been in the north? It's covered with snow year round and sparsely inhabited. Count Silvis is popular amongst his people. He may be able to help you. Oh yeah, he is up there. Yeah, he's definitely gonna be able to help us. Uh, dude? Dude? Uh, why is there a coffin in the middle of the road? Huh. Well, let's come back here at night then. Ah, you're awake now, buddy. What do you want to ask me? Don't be afraid, I'm a gentleman. You will seem surprised. It's not uncommon for someone like myself to live among humans. Uh, where's my steak? Where's my garlic? Since your arrival from the east, the denizens of the netherworld have come out. You will encounter more of them as you approach the capital. What's going on? Will Ladian be swallowed by the netherworld? Well, if I'm not anything I have to say about it, will not. Uh, well, compared to the ogres, you guys are much better. You guys can understand what I'm saying. At least I hope you do. Hey, I read and understand language gooder. If we keep killing each other, we're no better than them. What else is there? How are we different from them? Use your power, courage, and intellect to fight for our loved ones and our future. All right, Ike. I'll do that. I'll fight for my friends and love. Yuck. What are you doing? Quit wasting time. More people are hurt the longer the war continues. You must win quickly and lead us to peace. Don't tell me what to do. I'm your leader. I'll be beheaded. Okay, we're done checking all that stuff, so now we need to head on to the Tundra of, tundra of Argent. Now, this uh, this battle is, um, well, it's the same map. The difference is the units are going to be different depending on when you do this. So if you go to this place before going to Latium, um, your Chaos Frame will raise by 10, and the enemies here will be uh, undead. Uh, so you want to equip like either get holy uh, like G uh, like angel knights or seraphs or paladins with blessed blades because there's gonna be a lot of undead variations whether it be skeletons ghosts and uh, vampires but there's gonna be the other enemies there but it'll be mainly a lot of undead. If you come here after Latium, there will mainly be netherworldy. Uh, I mean, other than the standard uh, dudes, you'll have a lot of netherworlds, you know, satyroses, goblins, ogres, and stuff like that. So that changes how the battle is. Oh, and your chaos frame drops by 10, too, if you uh, come here later. And the boss changes, too. But I've already got, I already recorded all that ahead of time, so I'll show that off later. But for now, let's head on to the Tundra of Argent and see if we can count, get Count Silvis's help. Or has the darkness already overcome this place? Let's find out in... 
Scene 34, The Lord of Remus Keep. Oh yeah, doing this battle also affects the Ladian battle. The first, uh, you know, the first version, the Ladian battle is gonna be, is takes multiple battles to technically finish, but uh, Ladian itself has a different boss depending on if you've done this battle or not. So, this area was ruled by Count Silvus, Leia's father. I thought they were rebel sympathizers. I don't know why that changed. I'm not sure who's ruling now, but they're obviously not friendly. Now look at this. What do you mean? Count Silvus isn't in charge anymore? Hmm. Let's get started. We will make Tesla our headquarters for this campaign. Our destination is the northern base of Remus, a day's march northwest of here. We must liberate Remus. But where's Romulus, man? Our scouts have identified enemy troops of all, on all three routes leading to Remus. However, the troops are small. This just seems so odd. They are comparatively small and disorganized. We should expect some kind of trap. Or maybe they want us to expect there's a trap. Who knows? Where's Admiral Akbar when you have when you when you need him? But anyway. Did they just change their minds or did their sympathy for us cause them problems? Things don't look so good. Oh, hey, Leia, what's up? Oh, yeah, we're going to meet your father, huh? What's up, Leia? Are you okay? Um, I have a question. Magnus, how did you feel before you fought against your father? This dialogue's the same even if Anka Seth is, is alive or, or not, so or if he's in your party or not, so... Dot, dot, dot. Tell me, Magnus, what were you thinking? How did you resolve yourself to that? Yeah, it would be hard to fight your father or a relative or whatever. Well, it depends on what the time period. Apparently, it's quite common back in the medieval and Renaissance ages. So, you know, especially if they they were about to get some land or someone that you weren't, you know. Yeah. If my father had succumbed, had succumbed to the darkness, well, what should I do? I never imagined I'd have to fight my own father. I left home, but not because I disliked him. His love for me was a little bit too much. I didn't want to be dependent on him, so he was, so he showered his baby girl with love and affection like almost too much, where he was choking. Him. To live up to his expectations, I needed to be in an environment where I could challenge myself. Magnus, please tell me what to do. If, if my father has become one of them, I, I. Uh... Leia. Yeah, it looks like he's just going there, 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 there. <laughs> Even though he's probably at least putting his arm around you just to, you know, comfort her or whatever. But now, story wise, the I would say story wise, it's better to go here after um, uh, Latium. But uh, for chaos frame purposes, I'm going here beforehand, by the way. All right. Since it's mainly undead, you're probably going to be using your lawful units throughout this whole fight. But I'll still summon everyone anyway. Oh yeah, you don't need uh, don't need to worry about a uh, 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 a cockatrice group. So I uh, I uh, dumped I dumped that group, so I don't have to worry about that. Yeah, there's multiple, and the, like I said, the the enemy groups are completely different between the two groups. Um, items are different too, so that's always a uh, that's something else you have to consider here, but yeah, most basically the beginning of this fight is basically they all charge us for the most part. It's almost better just to wait for them to come towards us. Yeah, you got vampires and stuff like that. So, all right, let's go over the enemy units this time. So, all right, so before Latium, you've got all these other. Okay, this is the Enchanter. He is. This is Enchanter Group Number One. They have they can drop a revive stone, so I don't care about that. And they got six healies in their inventory. This is a Satoros, and they're called Tyler, apparently, so... Hey, why not, right? Uh, Satoros. This is Satoros, the only Satoros group. He can drop the Bloody Cleaver, which is an axe. Oh, yeah, I finally I finally got the Ignis uh, uh, spear figured out, so I just didn't type it in right in my, my uh, web list. Uh, Ignis, uh, the Ignis spear gives you 21 strength, 
minus three your fire petra, and plus eight to your water petra resistance, so. But anyway. Okay. Oh yeah, most enemies on this map are going to be levels uh, 32 to 29. So yeah, quite a bit. Uh, anyway, this is the Archmage Bonaparte, huh? Oh, ha, ha. No, sorry. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, this Archmage is group number one. They could drop the Jormungand uh, spear. All right, and then we got a witch here. Well, it's been a while since we fought a witch leader. I mean, we fought witches before, but anyway, this witch tried to drop anything. They got two healies, two power fruits, and a revive stone in their inventory. Then we got the vampire. He can drop the cyanic cloth. And then we got another uh, enchanter, another enchanter. This enchanter is group number two. They can drop the uh, they can drop the whip of exorcism. It's a holy uh, holy Petra uh, whip, so. Really, in this case, it's almost better just to have them go after, uh, just chase after me. I'll still separate myself to go after different groups, so. Alright, here are. Let's have. Oh, right, I forgot to change out, uh. I guess. It, uh, uh, let me. Let me change your leader from, uh. I forgot to swap it. Oh, well. Hold on, I think I can do it outside of the map. Let me. No, I know I can. I don't know why I said think. Yeah, let me, uh. Go to Marlene and uh, swap her leader out. Not that it really matters, but it's easier to identify them if I've got uh, specialty characters as the leaders. So let's have Ankaseth go after this group, I think. Well, now this group is got a bunch of pumpkin guys in it, so. Um, I mean, it doesn't, I guess it doesn't really matter, so. Yeah, let's have Ankaseth go after this group. Let's see how this group is. A little bit more durable. Actually, let's have Dio go after this group because of the vampire. And then... Actually, we'll have Magnus go after this group because he has holy a lot of paladins in his group too, so... Actually, Leia does as well, but... We'll have Leia work on her own group, so... Alright, feel my wrath, scum. Yeah, I decided... I swapped everyone to... Uh, Holy Blades. Yeah, this is where the Seraph shines. Ow. Oh yeah, I decided to give the Book of Annihilation to, uh, um, that I got to, uh, there we go, to, uh, Meridia. Yeah, we should have just enough Sirens and Magic users to get all the, all the books that we're gonna find. All right, we got the Jormungand. All right, I guess I'll go after this group. I don't think I used you much last episode anyway, so. Up, oh, <laughs> now he's a coffin. Yeah, that's the problem with the vampires. Although he'll he'll be heavily, uh, he'll have a lot of heavy um, de defense and resistance while in that coffin, though. So. At least we got one of the pumpkin guys before they started blasting me with all their. And luckily, because the uh, because the witch can't actually um, you know attack us, we won't die from the from the damage from the from the pumpkin guys. Nice job there, Ankaseth. Yeah, this is when enemies levels start start kind of starting to rise quite a bit. So, all right. Yeah, I didn't drop. Oh wait, did she? Did she have anything to? I don't think it was anything worth it, was it? So, sorry, I have to look at my the two different notes. Oh yeah, she didn't have anything. Never mind. Okay. Anyway, this group is Meltaus. Let's go ahead and uh, capture it. Uh, there's gonna be a um, it, actually, I think it's when we get to this location. But there is a uh, legion that'll appear after a while, so we have to be careful about um, moving too far ahead here. So we might wait a bit before we liberate the town because yeah as soon as you get to a halfway point a legion appears yeah we're wrecking that this group especially with you know holy weapons and everything like that so 
I mean, I probably do enough damage anyway to like kill him before, without needing holy weapons, but they do uh, a little. They do get take more damage. So, oh, that's right. You haven't uh, keep going. I would use Europea, but uh, she's only got one one paladin in that group, so. Yeah, fish him off with the jihad, yeah. Yeah, now that she's gaining a level, she's being a lot more effective, so. Ah, come on. Yeah, I'll have to remember next episode to swap back all my weapons back again, so. Uh, let's see. Let me look at this. Fano is neutral, so let's send uh, Sheen that way. Let's have him just kind of go out that way. See, that's lawful. And then this town is... I think it's lawful, but... It's, or is it neutral? Let me look. Or is it... Is lawful. Okay. So, actually, Magnus could capture this place if he wants to, or liberate it, so, at least you're, yeah, you're awful, so. Yeah, we'll just have you go to the town itself, whoops. Yeah, another map where I don't really need to use my, uh, my, uh, chaotic units, so. Might as well send, uh, someone up this way. All right, time to attack a coffin. Who knew? Well, then again, that's not the craziest thing I've fought in RPGs before. Yeah, unfortunately, this uh, this uh, Seraph isn't. Well, then again, this guy is uh, pretty pretty tough. But we're not doing as much damage uh, with her jihad. How does a coffin block? That's what I want to know. Really, they did more damage to me. Huh. Interesting. That is interesting. Uh, by the time we get there, he's probably going to... He's probably going to be nighttime, so he's probably going to get up at that point, so... Yeah, might as well send everyone out just to, uh, because there's no flyers we have to worry about, so. Okay, for everyone's moving. Yeah, I'm always wondering if Dio would get there in time. If not, not a big deal. Ah, so close to finishing a couple of those guys off. They were one of the friends got holy weapons, or virtue holy virtue virtue weapons i keep saying holy but it's technically virtue guys zombies suck <laughs> unlike the vampire which say they're supposed to suck so now uh yeah eventually all right he dropped the whip of exorcism nice oh there's the, one of the uh the groups there Oh, now he's running away by the time we get to it, so... But yeah, there's the, uh... One of the legions. Wow, well, it was easier to kill him outside of the box. God, this group's just so powerful because of the dragoon. Alright, let's have, a. Uh... Maybe we should have Asnable get some experience. Oh yeah, I guess we could go over the new the new group here. Okay, this is Centurion. Centurion group number. Let's see, this is the male Centurion. So he drops a urn of chaos, and he has two heal leaves, two power fruits, and a revive stone in his inventory. Um, and then the Black Knight here is. He's Black Knight group number one, I believe. Uh, he's a, let's see, yeah. Um, anyway, 
he doesn't drop anything, but he has a heal leaf and a power fruit in his inventory for him to use. And then Sergei here is the Archmage. This Archmage is Archmage group number uh, two. They can drop a Book of Bane. At this point, now that I can buy it, it's not a big deal anymore, so. Now uh, there's Legion group number two has appeared. Yeah, this guy's highly resistant to virtue, so. So the jihad's gonna do nothing. Yeah, I think you've gained your levels for this map, Magnus. But unfortunately. Alright, liberated Oraze. Then we'll go over the next step. Uh, well, actually, let's see what the shop has to offer. We've got bandanas, we've got, we can buy marionettes, and the fool! Uh, robes, magician robes, amulets, rings of eloquence. I actually want to buy a few of these because these are, well, let's see. I think I only need to buy a couple, actually, now that I think about it. But these are, we already got one before, but these raise your intelligence by 10. So, um, actually, I can equip these to my healers, too. So, I need, so I've got one, two, three, four healers and some magic users. I could probably buy quite a few. Actually, let me, uh. Let me pull up my organized screen really quick. So, uh, let's see. One, one, two, three. And then I think you've got, you've got the Elder Sign. Although I think the Ring of Eloquence is actually better in terms of, even though it makes you immune to paralysis, it gives you a better intelligence bump. So you'll do better damage. And the Feather of the Arch Archangel is better than the uh, Ring of Eloquence. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so uh, one, two, Three, four, and then I think she's already, yeah, she's got the ring of branding, which is better. So I need four, and then five, and you guys got the green tire, so you don't need that. So I need five of them. So, okay. Okay, and then after that, don't need the Vicious Rooms. It doesn't give enough intelligence bump for what I need. So, all right, I guess that's it. Okay. I mean, I can't equip it now because everyone's out out of the thing, but... Oh, yeah, let's go over centu this, this Centurion group. This is Centurion group number... Uh, this is the second male group. They can drop a male, a flag of unity. They have uh, two Healies and two Power Fruits in their inventory. And then the, whoops. And then Freddy Fazbear over here. I mean, Freddy the Ninja Master. Uh, he can drop an Urn of Chaos, and he has three heal leaves in his inventory. Yeah, this map doesn't have a whole lot of crazy good drops. Uh, this Black Knight is Black Knight group number uh, two, I believe. Yeah, and they can drop an Armor of Death, which is a Bane of Bane Petra armor. Okay. I might as well just move. Now that I've got everyone basically here, I could probably move on to the next uh, next section and activate the next group of dudes and have everyone start moving over there to assist. I should give Leia some some beats here or some beats. Gus. More Super Robot Tyson speak. Alright, there's Legion number two. Alright, this is the female Legion, or Centurion, sorry. Uh, she can drop a Gobble to Destiny. She has a Heal Leaf, two Power Fruits, and a Revive Stone in inventory. And then the Archmage is here. Uh, this is Archmage group number... Let's see. This is number three. He can drop a Bloodstained Robe. He has three Heal Leaves, two Power Fruits, and two Revive Stones. And then this Archmage is group number four. He can drop the Presvelg uh, staff for wizards, and I need yeah I need more stabs. Like I don't have enough stabs for my group to max out their potential. But anyway, he's got four heal leaves. So hopefully that guy drops the staff. But we'll see what happens. So. And let's see. Let's have Sheen. At this point, now I can, now I can, 
go to the location. Yeah, I shouldn't be using Azabel just because I, I want to show off his, uh, but I want to show off the that spell I had for Fort Meteor Strike or whatever. There we go. Meteor Strike! Alright, Sephiroth. Sephiroth! Yeah, she doesn't have crazy high intelligence, but still. Still 80 damage across the board, you know. I mean, yeah, lawful units are probably better here, but you can still use any unit as long as you beat them fast enough, you know. Alright, got a Book of Banes. Awesome. Yeah, let's have Asna. We'll just finish these guys off. I think. I could try to get another Satoros again if I really wanted to, but... I mean, it's not really worth it. I said, and I have to use 11 piece to get him in the first place. So, you would think being a rare creature that you have to use 11 piece to get, you would think they would be um, super good units. Like, oh man, the fact that you have to use an item to get them specifically, but not really. I mean, they're fine. Just, oh, maybe I'll try to, maybe I'll try to find, uh, or try to get one. In another, but like I said, there's a chance it will fail too, though. So, now we get Herd of Chaos. Although, technically Debonair is lawful, isn't he? So he could... Whoops. Although I could... I, maybe I should swap him out to Destin. I keep just leaving him as a, as the leader. Just out of habit. Oh yeah, I guess I should start working on uh, neutral units or what we can find here. Uh, you can find Baldir Golems in the Snowy Barrens. We can find Platinum Dragons in the Snowy Highlands. And we can find Sphinxes in the Snowy Forest. I want to get a Sphinx, for sure. Uh, Baldir Golems can drop Baldir Armor, Helmets, and Shields. Platinum Dragons can drop Heal Seeds, Yavals, and... Um, and then the Sphinxes can drop Altar of Resurrection and Angel Fruits. So I definitely want to get a Sphinx. For, just because of how freaking powerful they are. Alright, let's have you chase after him. Oh yeah, I need to start going after the hidden stuff on the map, so... Alright, Asabel, go ahead and find the item here. Should be... should be here-ish. And then Sheen should be going after the town. Alright. So you down here... I should... Uh, let's have... Well, I want someone to go grab an item. Now yeah, let's have Europea do it. There should be an item, like, right here-ish or somewhere then. And then we'll have Magnus go get the other item, I think. Oh, hit her from the side. Ouch. This ain't gonna be good. Well, actually, it should be fine-ish. I just won't be able to do as much damage, and that magic attack will probably hit me pretty hard. Because the uh, arch... Archmages do can do, yeah. See, they've got like five, they got the they got the Dragonite Dragonite books as well. So, um, yeah, let's hit him with the Petra. There we go. But yeah, they're gonna. A lot of the Archmages are now gonna have more. Well, actually, no, they don't have Dragonite books, but their magic is really high at this point, so they're gonna do quite a bit of damage. Oh well. All right, Europea, get him. You healed yourself too, but doesn't matter. I should be able to finish you off with the uh, annihilation. So there you go. Another birth has given us ah nice. I'll quit to one of my sirens. Alright, we got the Vestment of Wind here. So let's go back to there. 
I don't know why they're going after, uh, after Europea for some weird reason, but hey. Anyway, we liberated, uh, the town. Count Silvis, the ruler of this land, is a wise man, but he, we don't know if he's still safe. Could have been overcome by the darkness. I hope not. He seemed like a nice guy, helping letting Leia uh, fight with us and re had helped the revolution and everything like that. So we'll have to wait and see, though. Did I uh, did I go through the town here? I know I bought stuff at the shop, but I don't think I actually went inside. The town is inhabitants are falling apart. This once beautiful land is now littered with dead bodies. Can you do anything about it? Well, I've got my holy blade right here and the power of God. Not birth, just God in general. The Christian God. No. Uh, well, in this world, they don't exist. Uh, let's see. It might be. Maybe it's farther in. There's supposed to be a uh, a uh, soul mirror around here, so maybe it's a little bit farther up. Now yeah, we'll give Sakura the the princess, and uh, as soon as I get enough books, I'll be able to give the princess a uh, book as well. Ouch. Yeah, just liches are too squidgy, man. That's the only problem with them. They do a ton of damage, but if you're if if like for example, if you if you uh if you fight them against like a bunch of Dianas, for example, they'll just get destroyed. Because they'll just go focus, focus, or they'll just focus their attacks on him, and you know, he'll just he'll just go down like a ton of bricks. Oh yeah, the uh, um, bow that you get from defeating the Gorgon has the petrify capability, so yeah, I'm not gonna be able to finish him off, unfortunately. Oh, we did. Never mind. I thought I wouldn't do enough damage. Nice. I except for all the alignment bumps, but. Oh well. Ah, they're right. Brother Birth guys, the bloodstained robe. Nice. It's actually the they're they're the best robes for intelligence bumps. Uh, let's go and grab the book that's around here. Oh, there it is. How did? Okay, whatever. I was like, how did you miss it before? Okay, let's see. You guys are taking forever to get there, though. Alright, we're only missing two more items. Alright, Sarah done show off the power of the wizard. And when we get a Sphinx in the group, I'll probably have to get the Sphinx off screen. Yeah, because of his high mentality, they're they're not gonna do any damage to, to Saradin with their magic attacks. He just can't do anything, though. Yeah, the only problem is I gained an alignment buff from that, but they're so chaotic that it should be fine. I should just have a... Uh, well, we'll wait till the, these guys are defeated, then I'll have madness chase after them. I don't want to do it yet. Ow. Yeah, look at that damage, man. I said, Saradin is squidgy just like a lich, though, so you have to be careful with him. I wonder if I should go ahead and, uh... Probably should go ahead and heal him just in case. Yeah, I don't hold back your power, Saradin. Get up!
Yeah, probably not the best group to fight with Serena because they keep putting him to sleep. I should just have Magnus do that instead. He would have a better because of the jihad. That's why I didn't really want to use like Serdan and all of them on on a this. I was gonna use a oh yeah. We're gonna have to have Magnus go after this guy because he's gonna try to go towards uh, our base. Yeah, I don't think so, bud. All right, got the white mute uh, book, a uh, Dra uh, draconite book, or actually, let's uh, Dio. Just I don't want you to run over the the town by accident, or stop at just the right point. You know what I mean? All right, let's see what the, they say. I've heard a lot about you. You've been fighting Lotus in the deserts in the netherworld, right? But by the way, did you go to Winnea? Looks bad, doesn't it? The pride of the kingdom is lost, and now it's the armpit of the netherworld. Is there anything you could do? We'll slap some sense to Yuval, and hopefully he'll fix this whole situation. I wonder what he saw there in the netherworld. I don't think the game ever explains, like, what he actually saw. Uh, like, it just explains that he went there, run, ran into someone, and then, you know, came back with some power. Some ultimate power! All right, well, anyway, we need to head towards Kerala, which is the next uh, town. We'll wait for Sheen to, uh... Well, actually, it's highly lawful. I might be able to send Europea there without without worry. Well, power down is annoying for Magnus, but... There we go. Getting that Seraph more power. So this is the one of the well, I mean, yeah, magic would work too. But this is one of the main reasons uh, that I wanted the Seraphs was to be able to fight like the undead and all that other stuff. So was it the guy with a bunch of undead? Yeah. I mean, I might be able to hit them from the back, and maybe they won't won't hurt me as badly. So. Well, they actually didn't really hurt me, per se, but they annoyed me. They were very annoying indeed. Now we got a stone of quickness there. Actually, I might have to have uh, Sheen go down to that way or other town. So, actually, let me take a, take a look at your Pia. What is your... Uh, you might not be super, super lawful. You might be able to liberate that town, maybe. Because it's high lawful, so we should be fine, I think, actually. Wrecking these ghosts. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Not with an angel on my side, anyway. I mean, would you be afraid of ghosts if you had an angel next to you? I think not. Eh, I didn't drop anything. Oh well. I right, finish off these guys, and then we'll. I didn't drop anything. I, wait. Even though I mentioned they didn't drop anything at one point, they probably... Or I just didn't get it, one of the two. Uh, let's see. Man, she's probably got enough. Let's have him go liberate this town. And then this town is neutral as well, but it's high neutral, so... It might, well, not super high neutral. It's more neutral neutral. But it might be enough to where I can... Uh, European might not be so high alignment that uh, that affects it that badly. So, now if they still put him to sleep, to sleep. I 
kind of don't like the fact you're getting alignment buffs for fighting these ghosts. It's because you're not a super high level compared to them. And they are chaotic units, so. Or low alignment units, so. Alright, got the armor. At least we get the armor of death! So. Alright, I need to send all my units up there. Funny how my princess unit is my is my chaos, is part of my chaotic unit. I don't know why there's just something funny about that. Alright, liberated Karala. So I guess she didn't get enough alignment that I could still uh, effectively still do neutral areas. This place is too cold for an old man like myself. Count Silvis is getting old too. I think his daughter will grow up to be a fine lady. The weather must be hard on him, but he's governed this land for so long. We have to thank him, and whether Noble would be willing to. Let's see if he, let's see if that guy has any unique dialogue if you send to have Leia talk to him. Sometimes they do, and sometimes they really don't, despite them specifically mentioning uh, that character. You know what I mean? Yeah, wait for Dio to get his stamina up. And then we'll have him move basically to the castle. And just sit there until we're ready to attack it. Yeah, there's the boss there. Now let's see if Leia has any, gets any, or sorry, she usually doesn't talk, it's usually the person there that says something. Uh, okay, no, nope. Nope, didn't have any unique dialogue. Oh well. Yeah, sometimes, even though they mention them, sometimes they won't give you extra dialogue for it, and I'm like, oh, okay. Not that you need to talk about it, but. Okay, let's have Dio get move into the guy's castle. I mean, we could have Saradin and then move over there, so. Yeah, at this point, now we're just waiting, so. All right, Togul, Togul, Trogwheel has been liberated. The tundra of Argent is cursed. No crops will grow in this harsh climate, but we love this land, the land of the Virginitor. He saved our ancestors and us. That's why I stay here. And you have nowhere else to go. Have you seen the house prices recently? But anyway. <laughs> But actually, in my country, they're, they're, it's like insane how, how like, if you don't have a house, then no longer are the days gone where you can, basically, if you save up and work your money, you can buy a house. That was the American dream. Now it's like, it's almost impossible until, unless you want to pay the debt on your house, the mortgage on your house for like 50 or 60 years. Ugh. No, thank you. I'm actually lucky I inherited the current house I live in, so, so I got really lucky. The only problem is it's a, it's a major fixer-upper, but what can you do? But still, that's a crazy. Oh yeah, this boss. Let's look at him. Uh, Rose Char Charlet. I thought it was Rose Charlet for a second. Anyway, yeah. This guy is very heavy magic base, as you can see here. So you all have to be very careful about fighting these guys because they you need people either high magic resistance or, or quit beat them like super, super fast. Because they will smack you hard with their spells. Uh, he actually has two two characters that have unique dialogue with them: Leia and Meridia. Interestingly enough, I've already got Meridia's uh, dialogue already uh, unlocked. I might, depending on how badly he, how much damage he does, I might have to run away after the first strike. So I'll probably, I could just add Leia's dialogue later because there is generic dialogue too. I might just add the extra dialogue afterwards, maybe, but we'll see. Because I got all the versions of the... Basically, there's neutral, di there's neutral dialogue with whoever, Leia dialogue, and Meridia dialogue. It's just, like I said, with how dangerous this guy is, Leia probably won't be able to survive his magic attack, so I'd have to just run away like right afterwards. So, Alright, liberate Grienna. Alright, let's see what he has to say. 
Count Silvis had a daughter. I heard that she lives in a land far away. He must be worried about her. Yeah, he is, I bet. But we don't see him at the castle, which is strange indeed. Alright, I think we've got... I think we've dealt with everyone here, so... I was double-checking my notes just to make sure. For some reason, I thought there was extra. We could have Leia go, uh... Go see if that guy says anything. I don't think he does, though. Because they say, they say he has a daughter, but then they don't actually, you know... Ah, uh, you know what? Let me, uh... Let me cut to when Leia gets there and see if she, uh... See if they have any unique dialogue, so... Uh, I'll check back in a second. If she doesn't, we'll just uh, we'll just end up right back here where we're, where we're at. So, all right, I'll, do I'll double checked off screen. Uh, he doesn't uh, he doesn't say anything new to Leia, so so I had to move all the way back up here. So uh, let's see. And uh, there's an item. Actually, let's have a uh, we'll just have a uh, Saradin and Magnus get it. So. Because yeah, there's one more one more item on the on the list here. So we have to wait to get it though. Oh, I thought I moved Sarah to too. Hey, you might have enough movement to get this because it's the last item. Yeah, and off screen, I'm gonna go through the forest at this place with the decoy helmet and see if I can get a Sphinx. Anyway, we get the Gambatine. Uh, I believe that's a. Uh, let me double check that really quick. Uh, okay. Gambatine is a uh, mace weapon. Uh, mace blessed by the whole, uh, Hulp, the god of wisdom, with the power to pulverize the forces of evil. It gives your, raises your strength by 3, your intelligence by 13, and my, minus 3 to your virtue resistance, but plus 8 to your. Uh, uh, Bane Petra resistance. So, yeah, you definitely want to give it to one of your uh, clerics because of the intelligence bump. That'll make it... Okay, I guess we can attack him at this point. Uh, okay, let's have... Let's have Leia go after him. And I'll I'll splice in Meridia's uh, dialogue after this. But we might want to have multiple people go after him just because I'll probably have Leia run away. Because she'll probably... Uh, uh, We'll hold off. I don't want Dio to accidentally run into him, so. Alright. Alright, Lich. Who are you? Where's Count Silvis? I wonder where he is. <laughs> I'm here to deal you a painful, agonizing death. Toss aside your humanity. Join us. Bow in the darkness. Tell me where Count Silvis is. <laughs> You're quite spirited for a beautiful young lady. Do you not fear me, or are you bluffing? I grew up without parents. Count Silvis means to me as much as my real father. He said that my cheerfulness brought smiles to everyone. Since then, I've always tried to be cheerful. Can't you tell? I'm very, very angry at you. How touchy. But it's too late. Your beauty, your courage, your cheerfulness, and your life. I would take them all from you. Who are you? Where's Count Silvis? Where's my father? <sighs> You're his daughter. He is dead. You, you! Exclamation point. Did you kill him? Answer me now! Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I will avenge his death. Yeah, we will avenge his death. For boss time against Rochelar, the, uh, the, uh, Lich, so. Yeah, we will probably take quite a bit of damage from the magic attack, so 
Might have to run away like right after. Yeah, oh yeah, because the Lich also does a ton of damage too. Oh my god, yeah. Might have to run away like right afterwards. Yeah, he does a ton of damage with his magic. It's insane. At least you blot, but it'll, I'll give her like one turn and then I'll have her run away. Like, let her cast her magic and I'll... Let's see. Yeah, now she'll run away. Because she's not going to finish him off. So... Retreat! Actually, I might have to uh, run back and go get a... Uh, reviver. I could beat him and just hopefully that the... Uh, uh, hopefully Freya, the Freya there doesn't turn into a zombie. Actually, where is the... Uh, I don't want him getting too much HP. I need to look up where the uh, uh, witch's hut is. It's probably not even there when you're by. Oh, it's at Ally Headquarters. I forgot. All right, get him, Dio. You should be able to do enough damage to finish him off. But yeah, the, that guy is just really proud. You have to basically be bringing either like golems or someone that, that or someone that's going to finish him off in like one or two shots. Like the dragoon here. Alright, for beating him, we get an Ultra Resurrection? Hi, huh, I guess that makes sense. And a lot of soldiers and a bunch of money, so. Alright. Pop! Whew, did turn into a zombie. Lucky me. This is what you get for murdering my father! What's wrong? That's wrong. He ended his own life. He didn't want to succumb to the Infernal Aura. To be engulfed by its desires. An honorable man indeed. He resisted me even after his death. So that's why we didn't fight an undead version of Silvis. Even I, the ruler of the dead, was not able to summon his spirit. But what would happen if Silvis didn't resist him? How dare you involve my daughter in this war? Give me back my daughter. Give Leia back or die. <laughs> die, die. Your Magnus, you, you're the one who stole my Leia back. Give her back now. Give me back my daughter! It's too late. He can't be helped. Damn it! Count Silvis, what has happened to you? Why do you. Silence, Meridia! You too? You defy me as well? Who nurtured you after your parents were dead? You dare return my kindness with evil? I'm too late. All right. There's nothing else I can do. I'm sorry, Count Silvis. Leia, how could you? Bring disgrace upon the house of Silvis. You must pay for it with your life. Father, snap out of it. <laughs> die, die. Leia, my Leia. I'm right here. Please pull yourself together, Father. Do you resent me? Do you hate me because I disciplined you harshly? Of course not. I never thought that way. Father, I'm grateful for all you've done for me. See how strong I am now? I owe it all to you. I want you to teach me more. 
Father, please. Father? <sighs> yeah, kind of. That, that's why I almost prefer the, uh, the other, the after Latium version of this, because it's a little bit more. It's sadder, but it's more heartfelt because there's a kind of the whole scene between the, you know, uh, Leia and her father. But uh, either way, it's a depressing moment that a man who helped the resistance so much was, uh, was, you know, either was uh, forced to end his own life to not succumb to the darkness and take on his own daughter. But either one's tragic in its own way. It's just you get more of a sense of drama with the later one. But anyway, now that we've uh, finished that, we can now uh, go on to Latium, or we've got one more hidden spot if we do the rest of these. This one doesn't get affected by uh, by Chaos Frame. We can do it at any time. But Tibble the Wicked Land. What is wicked indeed? The Wicked Witch of the West? Or Wiccan itself? We'll find out what happens next time in the next episode of Ogre Battle 64. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.